What's happening guys, it's Big Long here and welcome back to the channel. I'm here to give you the rating of one of the worst boba places in Southern, in South OC. Now the one right here is called T-Bow T-Bow. A few years ago this, was, this, this place was packed and now over the years, if you look at their Jumpstar rating, it's only a 2.5. For this video, that I'm going to show you why it has diminished over the years and has ruined a reputation to a lot of its patrons. So if you like this video, please give a like, comment, and subscribe, so that way you'll be updated on future videos. What the heck? It's only 8.30 and there's not a single person here. God, this is depressing. I wish that someone was here to experience this. This is really depressing. How can it, it's only 8.30, how can it be not, be not that busy? Oh God. Please, I hope you guys like this video so that way you can enjoy my torment just for you guys. It was over 10 minutes just to get my order. I guess like because there's, there was only like two people working, so I had to just give them credit, you know? Wow, that is so depressing, so irritating. I had this whisper, you know? Wait, this is the Jolly Rancher. It has technically the technically some mango fruits as you can hear and also the whatever this is. This is technically my all-time favorite drink at Tebo Tebo. Now surprisingly after coming back after trying this, okay, I have to say that technically this is much better than the last time I got it. But aside from the price increase, this is technically good. Or, or I can honestly say that technically I'm the only person here, so basically they have to, cannot screw this up. Now, so there are promotions that basically they have basically a, a milk tea that you cannot choose any different kind of alteration. You just have to basically go for it. Uh, but I did get boba, as you see here. Now the boba itself is technically is not that hard. It's kind of chewy, but it's, that's kind of good. I guess like if you, have, if you have different preferences. The milk tea itself is actually pretty good. It's over 20 minutes and I've just been informed that there's only one person in the kitchen cooking the garlic noodle and cucumber with calamari which I just, just ordered and so it's like okay and I hope you guys enjoy what I'm just doing this for you okay as once again if you like this video please sure to give a like comment and subscribe so that way you'll be updated on future videos. But the atmosphere is technically is very, it's, uh, very inviting, you know? That there's plenty of open seating, as you can see. It's only like a 9 p.m. and so forth. This is so empty. You know? God, I would just wish that someone was here. Eventually. Uh, a lot of the Yelp reviews is technically that service is bad, that food is technically not worth it, you know? Especially, you know, especially aside from the price increase. Okay, so I just finished from T-Bow T-Bow, and after paying my bill, now I'm going to give you my honest opinion, okay? So just like what happened the last time I was here, where technically I ordered a Jolly Rancher, and the cashier did not tell me about the updated price, you know? Because at the time, the Jolly Rancher at large was supposed to be like $5. And then when I got when I got the bill, it was over five dollars, and I rant about it. Like luckily the cashier was accept was understanding. And ever since then, I haven't been back because of that reason. Now fast forward to right now. Okay? Now overall the food was good, but the wait time is, is extraordinarily long. Uh, by my stopwatch, it was only forty minutes. If we include everything, you know. And so like if you're in for a quick, you better stay away from this place. Now let's talk about the bill, okay? Now just like last time, where the bill was was technically wrong well it, they did it again it turns out the menu which I which you just saw that that was four months old so you see that what well, strangely the only thing that was right on the bill was technically that milk tea and the extra blow was 85 cents so one dollar plus 85 cents is one dollar 85 okay okay Aside, okay that's technically no excuse to that well technically I accept that okay but you see that I told this waitress that I haven't been in here in a while and so, like, I want to give this place a try. And they said, okay. But if the waitress would have told me that the menu has changed, has changed, then, uh, then I would accept it, okay? 
I did not want to say anything because I want to be a natural, okay? We got for viewers of getting us 2.5, okay? However, that's technically being generous. I originally was supposed to give it a three. I dock it down to a, to a two because of the wait time. And now because of the menu, I'm gonna give this a zero. And just like before, I do not recommend T-Ball T-Ball. So depressing, so irritating while I was in there. Well, I hope you guys enjoy that rant, okay? So if you like more of these rants, be sure to like, comment, subscribe to the main channel. And so that way you'll be updated on further videos when I upload it. But until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one.